The TerraFlex crankcase vent system for the JL Wrangler and JT Gladiator prevents oil from being drawn into the intake when the vehicle is severely inclined. The way this works is we add a second PCV valve to the system. It goes from an adapter on the oil fill cap and connects to a line that runs from the intake manifold to a ball check valve. The valve closes when the vehicle becomes severely inclined, blocking the way to the factory PCV valve and forcing the vehicle to use the new PCV valve. Adding a second PCV valve ensures that the crankcase ventilation system always has air regardless of the engine's orientation when off-roading. Begin the installation by removing the engine cover. Disconnect the hose from the PCV valve and the intake manifold. There are two clips holding in a place, one of which is hidden behind other things. But really this comes out and goes back in rather easily. Remove the hose from both the PCV valve and the intake manifold. We recommend taking a picture of how this is routed on your vehicle so you can reinstall it exactly the way it was removed. Measure 2.5 inches from the base of the connector on the intake manifold end and mark it. Measure one more inch and put a second mark. Cut the hose at these two marks. Place the ends into boiling hot water. This will soften up the hose and expand it just enough to allow you to install one end of the 90 degree fitting. Make sure it's the fitting with two half inch barbed connections and not any of the ones with threaded ends. Reconnect the long end to the PCV valve and the short end to the intake manifold. Wrap the threaded end of two 90 degree fittings with Teflon tape and install them onto the ball check valve. Install the ball check valve onto the bracket using the provided hardware. Install the bracket into the engine bay on the driver's side next to the brake fluid reservoir. Reuse the factory bolt along with the provided bolt. If the AC line comes into contact with the bracket, just push it out of the way. Make sure the fittings are oriented correctly as shown in the written instructions. Put the O-ring onto the bottom of the adapter. Remove the oil cap and install the adapter. Put Teflon tape onto the threaded 90 degree fitting and install it onto the adapter. Make sure it points upward at about a 45 degree angle. Assemble the 5 16 inch diameter hose. There is one short length and one long length. Attach the hose clamps onto the hoses. Attach the new PCV valve to the two hoses. Make sure the arrow on the valve points towards the long hose that will connect to the manifold. Adjust the hose clamps so that they are over the barbs on the new PCV valve. This will ensure that the hoses will have a good seal on the PCV valve. Connect the long end of the 5 16 inch diameter hose onto the small barb of the T fitting. Connect the short and medium length half inch diameter hoses to the fitting.
Install the long half inch diameter hose to the line that runs from the factory PCV valve. This will then connect to the fitting on the side of the ball check valve. Connect the short half inch section of the hose assembly to the fitting that connects to the intake manifold. Connect the other end of this line to the upper fitting on the ball check valve. Run the 5 16 inch diameter line under the air intake and connect it to the adapter fitting. Remember to keep the fitting pointed upward. That's very important for the system to function properly. Tie the hoses together and that's about it. You should be able to go on pretty steep inclines now. <laughs>